Hey everyone, how's it going? So today's video is going to be all about uh, my summer project that I'm going to be working on throughout the summer, obviously. Um, but I just wanted to make a video and kind of introduce you to it and just uh, kind of talk about what I'm going to be doing. So let's uh, go ahead and get started. So this isn't really a project for YouTube, this is kind of like a personal organization thing that I've uh, been working on recently. Um, so I just wanted to tell you about it and uh, show you kind of what my process is and what I've been doing. So basically my goal for the summer uh, is to help get my uh, home a little bit more organized uh, for my parents. Uh, it already is really organized but I just thought that I could help them out a little bit more. Um, so uh, really what I wanted to do was kind of get a system started. Um, at my home, so uh, things like um, getting everybody's address in one place, uh, their phone numbers uh, of all our uh, family friends and family, um, and kind of uh, organize our, our meals for, for the weeks and organize uh, all our recipes and uh, coupons and shopping lists and things like that. So basically just kind of a, a home organization, kind of calendar system to uh, help organize things a little bit better. So what I did um, was, you guys all know that uh, I have uh, this Stratophile fax that I picked up um, at the beginning of the year uh, and I use pretty much every day to help organize my life. So uh, what I did, I, I was out shopping um, a few weeks after I bought this actually and the same store that I found this at, um, I also found uh, another one uh, but in the personal size. So this is the A5 and this is what I use uh, to organize all my school and personal life and everything like that. Um, and this is the personal size that I also found um, at the store a few weeks later. So I was really excited about that so I had to pick it up. So what I decided that I would do with this is just kind of make this file of facts um, a home organizing uh, and just getting uh, our family organized with this. So um, what I did was I created some labels and uh, some different sections in here just to help uh, get things together. So I guess I'll pretty much just walk you through uh, just to start. I guess really this idea came from um, really our, our meals that we have uh, at our home. Um, my parents work during the day and in the summer um, they come home from a long day of work and uh, sometimes they don't know what they should make for dinner um, and uh, everybody wants different things uh, and it just kind of it can be stressful for them after just working a long day so I kind of wanted to make that a little bit easier for them um, so one of the main things that I wanted to do with this is create a, sort of a meal plan um, and just kind of plan out uh, our, our meals for uh, a few weeks at a time and just uh, be able to help them out a little bit with that. Uh, and I'll be home in the summer obviously so if I have the meal plan, um, I have the recipes for everything, I have the directions on, on how to uh, prepare the meals, then I thought that I could prepare them myself um, before they get home from work so when they get home it's all ready for them. So that was uh, the main purpose for this file of facts that I thought of uh, and then it just kind of expanded from there. But uh, keep in mind that that is kind of the main purpose of this. So I guess I'll just go ahead and walk you through it. So on the inside here, um, I just created a uh, little intro page just to make it a little more personalized like I did with my other file facts. Uh, so in my other one I just made uh, like a little page that had my name on it. So uh, as you can see here, I just made this little design and I put uh, our organized family on there. So. I just thought that was a kind of a cool way to just personalize it a little bit better. Um, so yeah, that's that. So on the side here, I have uh, different colors and sizes of post-it notes just to put uh, put throughout the the planner just to help uh, keep things a little more neat. And, and if we have to add anything, uh, we can just put them on a post-it note uh, and stick them in. Um, I also have a little uh, you've probably seen these before uh, my little to-do lists and to-buy lists. So I keep those in there just for things like grocery lists and stuff like that. So along the side here, um, I just created a few tabs. So the first one is address book. So like I said uh, in the beginning, I just wanted to uh, have a place that we could keep track of all our family and all our family friends 
uh, phone numbers and addresses and uh, email addresses and things like that just so that it's a lot easier to find uh, if somebody's looking for it. So right now we have, uh, I think just in our phone book, we just have a page with uh, it kind of scribbles everywhere with people's phone numbers, so I just want to kind of transfer that and put that in here. So obviously there's nothing in here yet. Um, I'm just kind of preparing. This is going to uh, be my summer project. So uh, once I'm done of exams in a few weeks, uh, I'm, I'm really going to start focusing on this uh, and getting everything throughout here kind of uh, worked on. So after uh, the uh, addresses and phone numbers, um, we just have the daily calendar. So this is like the week on two pages uh, in the block style and what I'm just going to be doing with this is just kind of uh, keeping track of, of an overview of if we have any family events or if uh, people are coming over or any birthday parties or things like that. Keep track of them here on the calendar. Also once we uh, decide on our meal plan then I'll write in the uh, meals for those nights uh, on here as well. Uh, and also things like uh, family hair appointments or doctor's appointments, dentist appointments, things like that. So just to keep the uh, everybody's family information all in one spot. So then uh, after that it really uh, just gets into uh, the menus tab here uh, that I have up at the top. So what I did was I made um, some templates on my computer because Filofax didn't obviously have any specific inserts for um, family meal plans or anything like that. So what I did was I just made um, a template on my computer, printed it out, uh, double-sided, and uh, then punched the holes in. So it was a little process, but I got it to work and I think it, I think it worked out pretty well. So what I did was I just created a uh, little calendar pretty much. Uh, for a month at a time. Um, I didn't put enough blocks on there to fit a full month, um, about 27-28 uh, days, um, but it just continues on to uh, the reverse page, so that's alright. Um, but what I did is at the top here I just wrote uh, the month, and then here I just filled in all the days uh, for that month. So what I'm planning on doing is, uh, you know, once uh, I get out of school, I'm gonna sit down with my family and we're going to kind of make a list of all our favorite meals and then uh, just kind of start filling in our uh, calendar and maybe having uh, certain certain uh, types of food on certain nights so maybe Friday nights would be pizza night or uh, Wednesday night would be Italian night something like that so we'll get down all our favorite meals and then just kind of uh, change things up and distribute them uh, throughout the weeks and just kind of plan according to that so that we know uh, what we'll be having for uh, dinner and it's just a lot less stressful for my parents uh, and makes it a little bit more uh, efficient. So uh, what I did, like I said, was create the calendar so I'll eventually fill this in and then um, on the reverse page, like I said, it just continues uh, into the next month and then after the calendar, I just have a blank uh, file facts page here. So what I'm going to do with this is obviously um, for the specific meals that we're going to be having for those weeks uh, they require obviously certain ingredients. So this uh, page is going to act as uh, a grocery list for uh, all those meals. So um, I'll, I'll eventually show you my recipes thing uh, here in a minute but for now this is just kind of um, know that I'll be keeping uh, kind of a shopping list and a record of all the ingredients that we need uh, for these meals uh, here so that we know when it comes time to go shopping uh, that those are the things that we need to uh, prepare those meals. So that is that um, and I just keep them uh, in the uh, six divided uh, tabs that came with the Filofax so essentially it's like two months per uh, tab so there's six tabs, uh, 12 months in a year. So then like if you go to the third one, uh, then there's a blank page, uh, a blank calendar, calendar on the reverse, and then grocery list. You go to the next one, uh, calendar, calendar, grocery list. So it just kind of goes like that. And if I need more, I can just go ahead and print them off and put them in. So after all of the grocery, um, the meal plan and the grocery lists, um, I have a to-do tab, so I guess I'll just show you that quickly. To 
do tab on the side there. So what I'm going to do with this is just put all uh, household chores and things that need to be completed around the house in here. So these are the to-do lists uh, that actually came with the file facts. So you can just write it in here and check it off when it's done. Uh, and that way, you know, um, if some if uh, we have some extra time, uh, I can go look in here, see that um, maybe something needs to be done, and I'll go ahead and do that and check it off. And then that's one less thing uh, that my uh, parents have to do uh, when they get home from their busy day. So I just wanted to uh, create a to-do list simply for that, um, and for kind of as a chore list, I guess, in a sense, uh, for me and my brother to help out a little bit more. So then after all the to-do lists, um, I just have some extra lined paper here to add for uh, grocery lists, as you saw in the meal plan. Um, and then you get to uh, the recipes tab on the side here. So as for that, um, it just kind of corresponds to our meal plan. So what I did was, again, I uh, went on my computer and I created a template uh, for recipes. So what I did was made these little recipe sheets to insert into the file facts. So up here I have name, so obviously whatever the uh, name of the dish is, I'm going to write it up there. Uh, preparation and cook time, so see how long it takes, so maybe if, if I know that I have um, not as much time one night to make something, um, then I'll come here, check, uh, see kind of what meal takes uh, the least amount of time and maybe schedule that one for that day, uh, if we know that we have something uh, to do that day. So then after preparation cook time, we have uh, an ingredients box. So uh, obviously I would just, for that dish, fill in all the ingredients that are required for uh, that meal. Uh, and then the directions on kind of how to follow through and uh, create the dinner. So uh, I thought I would go ahead and do that. Um, and I just printed off a bunch of these uh, and inserted them in there so that we can just keep uh, adding to it. And also, um, the file facts did come with um, some tabs that are alphabetically ordered. So I thought uh, to even further organize this, uh, once we have created, uh, once we have a name for the dish or whatever, um, then file it alphabetically uh, in the little tabs back here. So if it was spaghetti, then uh, you'd go down to the S, uh, flip over the tab here, and then we'd have um, a recipe for our spaghetti and our spaghetti sauce and things like that. So I just thought that, that was a, kind of a neat way to keep track of all our recipes as well. So then um, after our uh, recipes tab, um, I also have a spot for coupons as well. So we aren't um, essentially a big couponing family. We're not um, like extreme couponers or anything like that. It's actually really difficult to um, kind of do like the extreme couponing here in Canada because they don't offer a lot of like the the in-store uh, deals with like doubling coupons and things like that. Uh, so we don't use them a lot, um, but we do use them sometimes. So uh, what I did, um, the planner came with this little business card um, holder. So I thought that we could use that to keep any coupons that we had. Uh, so we could stuff them in there. Uh, and then essentially when we're going grocery shopping, we have our grocery list in here um, for the meals that we need to prepare. And we also have our coupons for things that we may need to pick up. So that is that. Um, and then at the back here, I just keep a, another little um, post-it tab booklet. Um, it's one of the larger ones and it just fits easily in the back there. So just some uh, more things to create lists on. So that's what I put in there. And obviously, um, I keep a pen in here on the side uh, just so that I can easily write things down. So that is basically it for this uh, little file facts tour. Um, really it is just, I really wanted to kind of get things a little more organized and kind of create a system uh, for our household just to make things a little bit easier for my parents essentially. So I thought that this would be a good idea and uh, a good use for uh, the other file facts that I picked up. So I just wanted to do that and show you um, eventually once I get out of school and I do uh, some uh, planning in here, I will definitely make more videos uh, to show you my process and show you how things are going. Um, but for now, uh, it's just kind of uh, in the works. So 
definitely uh, check back and subscribe for more videos related to this. Um, if you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments below. Um, and yeah, I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at OrganizedBlake. Uh, you can check out my website at OrganizedWithBlake.com. Follow me on Pinterest, BlakeG28. Um, all the links will be in the description below. So go ahead and check that out. And I will see you guys soon in the next video. Bye.